Xin Yin Kuai La, or Happy New Year in Chinese. <laughs> festivities yeah <laughs> I feel like I'm in a light show I'm like this way this way Ooh. hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is Playdates and Travels and a very happy Lunar New Year to all of you who are watching this video on the active day I was planning on filming this and uploading on exactly Lunar New Year Day which this year for 2021 is on February 12th and if you guys are new to my channel, you guys probably have never heard of Lunar New Year, um, unless it's part of your culture, which is awesome if you came up to my video specifically for that, that's amazing. Um, but if you are new to Lunar New Year, what it is is basically, it is the new year, the celebration of the actual new year that the Asian cultures and countries celebrate. And I just happen to think it's such a fun, wonderful celebration. I actually um, plan on having a Lunar New Year feast the day that this is going up because I think it's fun and I love Chinese food. It's one of my favorite foods to eat. Actually, I love Korean food as well. If I could do all the Japanese, Korean, Chinese, all in one big feast, um, I would get really, really expensive. But I do live in LA where we have a lot of access to that type of cuisine, so won't be out of the question. But at any rate, it is a new year for the Asian culture. So if this is your new year, happy new year. I would say it in Chinese again, but I have past videos for that. So if you're interested in seeing that, then go watch my Lunar New Year ear swap in which I was given these this year. I love them. They were made for me for the celebration. And I wanted to go ahead and wear it in this video. I also made my own Lunar New Year ears as well. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll have a lot of content about that this week. Um, so you guys will have some familiarity with it if you haven't already. But I have my lantern from a couple years ago from the Disney parks. This one right here flashing, I should probably turn that off, um, from the parks this year. There's like a little Mickey head. I don't know if that's coming out on camera. That are flashing on the top but just in case this is distracting I will turn it off because I don't want to I don't want to just like make someone have some kind of episode but I have this I have a lantern above me I'm not sure how much of this is coming out on camera there it is above me um I had a lot of Lunar New Year stuff guys and I was trying to fit as much as possible in here but what today's video is going to be is an opening of my mail I actually have a my very first ever lucky bag so um today is going to be japan from tokyo disney um in that area what are lucky bags they are mystery bags that you can get in the asian cultures and they are just bags from different retailers where they put mystery items you don't have any a clue any idea what's in there you just have a certain monetary value so for my case i bought a 20 dollars lucky bag i don't know what's in my 20 dollars lucky bag but i have an actual lucky bag that came from japan sold to Japanese customers and the like, and I wanted one, so I did ask a personal shopper to get that for me. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing. I love having more people in my community, and I do a lot of content like this, so I would love to have your subscription show up in my notification and say, you like this channel. Thanks so much, guys, and let's get into it. So as much as I love my lantern, I actually just moved it out of the way because I feel like it was blocking half of my background, and I took a really long time putting all this stuff together with some things that represent the Chinese um culture as well as the Japanese cultures and some of the uh signs that I got from Disney in the parks um from the Little New Year Festival in the years past so I wanted to have a lot of red in my background so the lantern moved over but I do have two over there or three three lanterns actually over there and I have one above me that you can barely see in the top but I'm surrounded by lanterns in some capacity all right so I'm going to start with my Japanese meal because I've had this the longest I actually ordered from ball pens and etc they are a company that i've used before in japan and um they sent this to me via dhl which means i got it super fast they sent it like three days after um or i received this three days after they sent it which was really fast um it was expensive i will say that because they no longer have the capacity to send via airmail um so if you wanted to order from them you have to do surface mail which could take up to three months and i wasn't willing to wait for that that long so i did dhl which was by air but it was more money at any rate this is so cute it says pokemon center and that's the bag that they put this in and 
I have a lucky bag from Japan. I'm not sure exactly what store they got this from. I just know it says literally lucky bag on the top um, with some fun icons and I didn't know it was gonna be in here. Oh my gosh, there's extra stuff in here. So I'm gonna actually open up the lucky bag and then open up the extra goodies going a little backwards. But let's do it. I'm so excited. Okay, so it does say lucky bag all over the place. And all I knew was that there was a choice of different characters. And I told them that I wanted the one that had Dale or Chip or the one, another one, because I just liked that particular icon. I can see an aerial item in here. So this is see-through. I'm not sure what the actual price was they paid, but my price was $20 to get this actual goodie bag. So let's see what's inside. The very first thing that I'm seeing is this nice little, um, it's like a little case, like a pencil case. It does say fancy style and it has the green aliens all over. I am such a huge green alien buff. Um, if you guys didn't know that, I do have my green alien behind me in my background because I just think he's fun and festive and I like to have him near me. But this is the pouch that came in here and it's literally just a simple pouch. It has a little um, styrofoam insert inside, but it's a clear blue, opaque blue um, interior and it's not... It's not see-through, so you could use this for pencils or you could use it for makeup if you really wanted to, but I think it's meant for it to be like a simple pencil case, so that's fine. That's item number one. Um, item number two that I knew that was going to be coming is this cute little coin purse. Oh my gosh. So this one has Dale, and you can see his bright red nose and his teeth sticking out. He looks very fun and festive. This is plushy, so it's nice and soft, and this actually does say this was originally 900 yen. Um, I'm not sure if all these have prices on it. This one says Toy Story 4. There's a 600 on the bottom, but I'm not sure if that's the price or not. So this item, I don't know, but this one was a 900 yen item, which in America and US money, it's about, about $9. So that's what this would be the equivalent of that. And let's go ahead and open this up. Just has a little bunch of stuffing and it's a small little coin purse that I can literally hook this little clip here. I could hook this to a bag and carry this around with me. So I just thought this was really adorable and I love my little Dale coin purse. They make the cutest things in Japan and I basically paid $20 to have access to this bag. <laughs> but I just really wanted to open a lucky bag for the first time in my life. I'm looking at um, the, the concept of lucky bags for the past couple of years and they were released every January and also in February until supplies, you know, go out. And I really wanted to have a chance to open one of those myself. So I was really happy that ball pens and et cetera gave me that access. Oh, this is cool. This is like a highlighter. It says Mono. This is also from Sunstar, the same company that the pouch is from, which I feel like it's one of those Gabachon. I don't know how to pronounce it, but those machines that have all like the fun like accessories and stuff that you can get all throughout Japan. I feel like Sunstar is one of the companies that specializes in that. So this literally has Forky. Great, three aliens on here, Woody and Buzz. So this is like a Pixar Toy Story themed item. And I'm not sure what this is, but it looks to me like it's some kind of a stationary item. Okay, yeah, so this is an eraser and you can push it up to erase it further and further. This is actually gonna be really helpful because my daughter is homeschooling at home and is always looking for erasers. So I'm actually gonna re-gift this Toy Story item onto her. Okay, so the next item in here is another fun stationary item, and this says Mickey and Friends, fun for everyone, join in the fun, and it is it says S5, so it's graphing paper that you can use as a notebook to write your notes in, and it's got the whole gang on the front. You've got Mickey and Minnie, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto here, so Fab Five featured on here in nice pastel colors, very pretty little notebook, and the back of it has the whole gang in like this orangey color, and it says Mickey and Friends, so... Lots of fun. I actually do like stationary items a lot, so this is perfect. So that is one, two, three, four items so far. And it looks like there's two small items left. Um, ooh, fun. Okay, so the one that stood out to me is the aerial one. I did ask for some stickers, and they were able to provide that. So this says The Little Mermaid, Ursula. It's got Ariel and Sebastian. It has King Triton. It has Ariel again, like flipping her fins. You don't get too far. She's flopping around the waves. And then the last one says waves for days and has a picture of her and flounder. So I actually really like this item. If you didn't watch my channel before, you didn't know that I was really into stickers and Little Mermaid's my favorite Disney movie. So all the glitter that is coming out of this 
is like right up my alley. I love it so much and cannot wait to use these. I partly will not use this right away. I kind of like preserve this, I think, but I really like it. Um, just kind of sense if these are stickers or if they're like sticky notes or if they're magnets. So I'm actually going to open this up to confirm. It does say the price on this one was 430 um, yen, which again would be about $4.30 um, if we were translating. So yeah, these are individual sticky notes. Oh my gosh, that are oh so glittery. I just got super more excited, but yeah, more excited. Okay, but I'm really excited about this item. That was my five things. And then my last item, the sixth item, is this large Disney sticker. It says, fun for everyone, Disney Mickey Mouse on top of the world. Has Mickey holding up a top hat and Minnie in a flower hat <laughs> and a bow and cinched around her waist and pearls looking very fancy. So a nice jumbo sticker from this packaging as well. So six items, again, this is, says it was $3.50 and it actually does come with an envelope. So you have this giant sticker. It might actually even be a card. Um, it's what I'm thinking. Might be a stationary note, not that I see the envelope. And then you have the envelope to place it inside. Um, so it doesn't open up like a traditional card, but it is a notepad card that you could write on the back, the same Mickey Mouse. Um, and the front is kind of like this embossed textured paper. Really nice. So a little note card with the little envelope set to go with it. And that was my five items. So like I said, I'm super happy with all of that. I actually would have very gladly paid $20 for all of this value. Um, I do know that personal shoppers do mark things up. So again, I have no idea what the original price of this would have been. Um, they were selling some lucky bags from the Disney store in Japan, and I had access to that as well. But I happened to see someone post what content came in it. And it wasn't anything that I particularly needed for the price that they were offering from. My friend did go ahead and have access to it. And she showed it in her channel. Um, her name I'll put on the screen, Kagayaki. And she lives in Japan and shows a lot of Japanese content. I love her. Her name used to be Disney fan in Japan. I've mentioned her before if you guys are curious who that is. And she showed that she actually did buy a lucky bag this year from the Disney store. She pre-ordered it online and she had a lot of fun stuff in there. She had a Beauty Beast item that was perfect for her. Amazing. But she did reveal that it was cost $30, I think is what she told me. Um, or she told her viewers on that video. And um, for example, they were selling that bag for $50. So this was $20. I wonder if this was like a $10 thing or if, you know, whatever the case might be, but it doesn't matter. I was willing to pay the price and I actually do think this warrants 20 bucks. So I have this giant sticker, a notepad, my aerial sticker sheets, which I love, my coin purse and my um, pencil case with the aliens. And finally the Toy Story um, eraser. And again, some of these have prices, some of them didn't, but this alone said nine, this said, um, 430 so let's say 13 and then this said 350 so that's 1650 um i already know that this is 1650 for those items and that's not including these last three so it does add up in value to about 20 bucks so maybe what you're being charged is the actual value of the items all together who knows and then some but worked out well for me oh there you go it actually i'm silly at the bottom it does say the price on this was a thousand yen which means that this was about ten dollars um, to them and it cost me 20 so not a bad markup at all coming from another country yeah and then going back into my bag let's just see the other items that were placed in here they included a pachaco um pouch this is cute so they do have a lot of stationary items the ball pens and etc so they probably gave something they had laying around oh my goodness inside it says something about the new year it does have a little sticker it says happy new year babe thank you for choosing bay all pens, etc. That's your logo to be your shopping partner in Japan. Hope these goodies made your day. Love hashtag team Bay special. They have like all the characters with, like Hello Kitty in the front. I love that. Oh, that's so nice. And this is a little bag that they gave everyone, I guess, with the lucky bag. Loving it. And then the other items in here. That's right. I completely forgot. So in addition, <laughs> in addition to my lucky bag, I also pre-ordered these keychains. These are mystery keychains from Japan, and they're like Lunar New Year keychains. So they have this fun design in the front, and then um, it's got like Mickey on the back. And I don't know what this is called, Mickey and Chippendale. They have in Japan them dressed like these. I think they're called Daiyama, something like that. So it's like him in that form, and also Chippendale in that form. And I cannot wait to see what is in here. These were each three hundred yen originally. I think I paid like five 
or six per keychain. So not a bad markup for that either. Okay, so now that I had a chance to open up the rest of my Japan bag, I feel like I should go ahead and open up these mystery keychains and show you what was in here. Again, it's got this cute little Mickey symbol on the front, which I think is adorable. By the way, I didn't show before. Where did I put it? In Japan, they hang these things. They're called mini wreaths for luck. And I saw that um, the Japan Disney Store actually released one that was like a large one that had a Mickey Mouse in the center. And Daiso had a bunch of these. So I actually went and got three of these literally with the intent of making my own Mickey shaped one. So I'm gonna do that as a little mini DIY for Lunar New Year, so that could be kind of fun. Um, but some fun little reefs action can be in the background for at least my pin video, cause it's not up there just yet. But I thought that was really kind of cute because you could definitely like put the three of them to make a Mickey Mouse shape. And then it's like Insta wreath just for Japan's Disney, um, you know, luck. And they each have different charms and jingly aspects. So lots of fun goodies for Lunar New Year. Okay, so into the keychains. I love this design on the back, by the way. Just love it. I just love the red regal feel of these envelopes. I can't believe that these were once in those machines that you just pay 300 yen and you just get them, like a mystery keychain. This is like something that you would find like over here at Hot Topic or something. But you can see it does say 2021 on the corner and it does have Mickey's face in that Dayuma style, whatever it's called. I, I, I apologize if I'm butchering it. I think that's what they call it. We need like some more Asian Disney YouTubers to bring light to this holiday who actually have like the background because <laughs> I feel like I'm someone that is enjoying the self the festivities of it but obviously I'm learning just as a lot of you are so I'm by no means an expert in any way okay so it was wrapped in this cardboard inside the box and inside it was the keychain that just dropped on the floor and it's got like a cool little like symbolic card it's a lot of little of letters so i'm assuming this is in japanese i'm not really sure what it says i'll have to do like a translate on google to translate what this is but let's go see what the keychain is that came out of the bag as well okay so this is the keychain and this is really nice quality i love the way this looks i see the 2021 symbol in the back with the mickey symbol um but it just it's it's definitely um what's the word i'm trying to say it's embossed in the actual um, keychain so it looks official it does say copyright Disney on the back and there is an FAC number as well and it's a little mini scroll keychain oh, this is so delicate and cute I could definitely like hang this off of like my Mulan bag for example on the zipper if I were carrying this around that's such a nice little design but this one is Chip and Dale and they're actually wearing like a traditional Japanese outfit um, it's in green and orange and they look so cute and festive and there are little acorns in the background design as well. So that is adorable, this Chippendale keychain that's a close up and they are in a scroll. So much fun. These are really well done for little small keychains. When I saw a picture of these, I knew that I wanted to go and investigate. And I'm really thankful that ball pens and et cetera have them for a decent price because I think these were listed elsewhere for like $11. And I was like, $11 for a mystery keychain? That was kind of ridiculous. Especially since this was 300 yen originally. Like, they had a really good price for this, so I really appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Let's open this up. I kept that one intact now that I know what to expect. And this one, let's see if the cards are exactly the same. It looks like the cards are exactly the same. It's got like a Mickey and Minnie, a Chip and a Dale, and then like a mystery cat. So I guess those are the five little for scrolls you can get. This one looks like it's Mickey Mouse or something from the background. Ooh, oh, okay. So this is the front design. I was actually looking at the wrong way, but this one has the same design in the back. Although the 2021 on this one, for whatever reason, yep, I was right. The 2021 that's stamped on this scroll is a lot smaller than the Chip and Dale one. So it's interesting. They're not actually uniform and made exactly the same, I guess. But let's go ahead and see what this looks like closer up. So this is all gold. There's no color on this whatsoever, but it is Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And there are flowers all around him. And it looks like he actually is wearing a kimono or something um, of that style. It's harder to see because it's not painted in. But he's got a cat next to him for luck and a bunch of flowers at his base. And that could or could not be a fish. I don't think it's a fish, it's just more flowers, but so pretty. If I look at it really close, I'm actually reflected on the bottom of this. So this is very shiny and elegant and what a nice idea to have these little 
keychain. So I did get a Mickey Mouse one and then a Chippendale. And I think both of these are absolutely adorable. So very excited that I invested in these little cute keychains to celebrate Lunar New Year. So much fun. I love that Japan does this kind of stuff. And that's it. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. Glad that I could show you my lucky bags as well as what I got from Japan um, from, you know, just my, my personal shopper, extra goodies sent to me that I also decided to order. So that was a very fun order. Very glad I did that. And the turnaround, like I said, for Japan, three days from the time they shipped. Um, they shipped at the end of January. I want to say they shipped on the 17th or so of January, um, maybe the 20th of January, something like that. And I ordered either December 31st or January 1st. So it only took about a couple of weeks for them to get it all out. And they had a million orders, it seemed like. So pretty fast turnaround, I have to say. So kudos, thumbs up to that. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing my experience. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!